You said that it's better to avoid posting pictures too publicly on social media, internet and such to avoid evil eye and jinx etc. But if someone needs to do it for their business to be successful are there good ways to protect oneself from jealousy and being harmed? Being a world champion for my sport has been hard because of jealousy and I have often hid from the limelight. But now I need to advertise my accomplishments more for business and would like to know how we can do so on social media or the internet or publicly without negative repercussions. Thank you very much. This is an excellent question colleague. I believe that not only you but anyone who presents themselves on the internet, especially those promoting themselves or engaging in publicity, will eventually face this issue, has already faced it, or is currently facing it. But let's move from the abstract to the concrete, from the general to the specific. The first thing you absolutely don't need to do is be afraid, because fear is easily perceived by those around you. If you constantly think that your publicity shots, self-presentations, interviews, and anything else broadcast to an unlimited number of people will harm you, they will. Without any doubt, and it's not just that there might be a sorcerer who could immediately sense your fear and cast a harmful spell on you. The point is that one doesn't need to be a professional sorcerer to pick up on fear, many people can sense it on a subconscious level. It's just that their mental body may interpret your fear in a different way. People find other reasons within themselves to explain why they are sending you hateful messages, judging your appearance and words and they often send very powerful messages with the intent to affect you. Why do they do this? Mainly because they sense your fear. And who experiences fear? Usually, those who are perceived as weak. So, someone who senses your fear is likely to see you as a weak person. What conclusions might they draw from such a judgment? First of all, they may see you as someone unworthy of what you have or present. We've already discussed jealousy and how it is often rooted in hatred. And what does hate mean in a magical sense? It's an emotion, an energy that works to reject something. It says, no, it's not supposed to exist in this world. This is a wrong element in reality, something that shouldn't be. What's happened to this person isn't normal. He shouldn't have money, fame, beauty, youth, or love. He should have nothing because I know it's not normal. All of this is a deception and a lie. I am, after all, the better person. So why does everything go to him and not me? I'm the one who deserves it. That's what we call jealousy. And all jealousy is rooted in hatred and forms a particular program. Why did he get everything and not me? Why is there so much injustice in this world? Roughly speaking, it all boils down to the idea that he is not worthy, this is how a person interprets fear when they sense it in another person. Although this is the main cause in 99% of cases, hateful messages aren't always triggered by the perception of fear. Sometimes, they stem from a person's own internal complexes, and through hatred, they try to justify their own failures. Such a person doesn't care whom he curses, be it their mother, father, the President of the United States, or, I don't know, the Queen of England, the King, the Princess, or anyone else.
He looks at something that they have and says, it doesn't have to be this way. I hate you because you represent everything that is wrong in my life. You shouldn't have what you have. You have no right to behave the way you do, and you have no right to possess what has been given to you. Because in my system of worldview, it shouldn't be this way. My system of worldview says that someone else should receive all the wealth, beauty, fame, and everything else. And most likely, that person is me, not you. All of this creates jealousy. When you understand this, you can form a program to protect yourself from this kind of hatred. And do you know what the most important element of this program is? It is understanding what I've just told you. If you understand the reasons for people's hatred and jealousy, you won't be afraid of them. As a result, you will stop feeling fear. It won't disappear immediately, but day by day, it will start to become less and less pronounced, eventually, you will no longer care. From that point on, consider that your power has started to develop, because power grows when you're in a zero state, not a negative one. As long as you're afraid, you remain in a negative state, and when you reach a point where you no longer care, you enter a zero state. From there, you should begin to build your own power, because that's not the end. Next, you should transform the hatred of others from negative to positive. In other words, if people can experience hate, they can also experience love. And what do you need to do to make them love you? It also requires understanding. Here you need to ask yourself, who do people love? Who do people truly love? Well, complete and total love is described in Suskin's novel Perfume, the story of a murderer. Although the main character meets a tragic end, it is a very revealing work. It shows how one man can drive an entire crowd to madness. The fact that this crowd, in a frenzy of adoration, tore him to pieces is simply a consequence of the experiment. But in your case it is a reason to think about how powerful your message needs to be and what you should put in it to make the other person give you all the benefits, send you love instead of hate, wish you success, victory, and the downfall of all your enemies. People are attracted to strong personalities, to someone perceived to be stronger and more powerful than themselves. Why is that? Because people often feel the need to hide behind someone else's back. They tend to look for someone strong to hide behind. People are naturally drawn to strength, so you need to show your strength to others. And for this purpose, there are various magical transformations. For example, Certain energy informational masks created through specific skills and energy informational practices. These are similar to the masks that artists put on when they perform on stage. Artists are specifically trained to create these masks, which help them receive unconditional love. Look at the popularity of various artists. A reasonable person understands that the role an artist plays is just a role. 
He's not that kind of person in real life. He's a total creep, a womanizer, a complete idiot. The worst things we know about people, all of that can be applied to him. But the character, the role he plays, makes people forget about his true nature. The followers and the fans begin to see this person not as the personality that he actually is, but as the character that he has played. Accordingly, in order to change your external message from hate to love, from fear to respect, praise and honor, you must play such a role. You must play the role of a strong, successful person. This is not something that mass media can accomplish by creating a certain biography and promoting it in every possible way. It won't work because people will unconsciously pick up on lies and falsehoods. Here, you have to get into the character of a strong, powerful man. A man who has achieved his goals, achieved them by right. And most importantly, stay in that inner state that leaves no doubt that you have the right and transmit it to those around you every minute. And, of course, magical artifacts will be of great help for this purpose. Even people who don't practice magic know for sure that they have, or once had, a lucky object that served as a talisman, and that its presence within their energy field or simply in their hands always brought them good luck. Usually, it is a material object, some item that consistently brings good luck. It could be a childhood toy, a talisman, an amulet, a favorite piece of jewelry, or a favorite dress. It doesn't matter. It has to be something that physically locks you into a certain state. In magic it's called a ritual lock or seal, the state of this mask, the mask of power, the mask of success, you have to put on like a suit of armor, so that it does not dissolve, so that it can withstand even accidental provocations, so that it can reflect these provocations, turn them into something positive and send them back. So, when someone sends you hate, it's reflected back with even more power, leaving them in awe. And for this purpose, of course, you need magical helpers. These include runic formulas and good luck charms, specially crafted or acquired throughout life. They may be created once to last a lifetime or recharged periodically. You can make them yourself or seek out a specialist, but you must be certain that you're working with a true master and not just a charlatan. And, of course, understanding that these are only helpers and won't solve the problem for you, you must continually work on yourself. This refers to our colleague's previous question, when we mentioned that the path of self-transformation requires a lot of time and work. It is a difficult path. Because sometimes magic loves. No, love isn't the right word. Magic can punish a person who, having received a certain magical artifact, a certain magical gift that helps them lock into a state or achieve a certain state of power, not only begins to parasitize on that power object or talisman, but also starts to take everything for granted. I achieved everything on my own, I did it all myself. People love me for who I am. And I got the amulet because who else would have it? After all, I'm so awesome. When such thoughts arise, that's when the punishment usually follows. It is not revenge, it is punishment. It's a lesson, when an artifact goes missing, a mask breaks, or something else happens, and a person loses everything. Absolutely everything, and there are many, many such examples. 
For you, such a power object could be the first gold medal you earn through hard work. Something you invested a lot of energy and effort into. When you look at that medal, you can say, I truly earned that. This is exactly what I deserve. Everyone has that kind of symbol of success in their life. A symbol of absolute, unqualified success that you achieved on your own, without the help of your mother, father, or anyone else. But if you don't have such a symbol yet, and you are going to rely on a magical method, on a magical item that has been deliberately made, don't forget for one second that this won't last forever, that this is only a temporary measure. It will support you until you develop inner power and do inner work, which will always take place behind a mask, unseen by others, but always correctly judged by you, and the moment you finish your work and take that mask off, the people around you will not know the difference because it will no longer be a mask. It will be part of your personality, a strong personality. So, if all my recommendations are clear to you, I believe you'll be able to choose the right sequence of steps yourself, what you need to do to protect yourself from the harm caused by the jealousy of the world around you. And how to transform the negative into positive, turning hatred into love and keeping it with you for as long as you wish or find it necessary. That will be my answer to you, colleague.